So what are we doing today then? You, you all right, mate? I think you, uh... Is the background no good? You've not been able to get to the hairdressers, no? Do I? not been able to get to the hairdressers, no? Well, has anybody? Well, no, I haven't, clearly, and clearly you haven't either. What's, what's your problem? I haven't got one. How are you getting uh, on, mate? I'm all right, mate. How about you? I'll tell you what, though, I'm rushed off my feet. <sighs> Trouble is with this, it's non-stop, isn't it? Oh, it's PE every morning with Joe Wicks. Every Thursday night I'm out clapping. Every other day somebody wants me to post 10 pictures on Facebook of things that have happened in my life. Then somebody else wants me to have a sing-along. All of my friends on Facebook can suddenly sing. You know, yeah, I'm, there is that. You're not on Facebook, are you? No, mate. Anyway, more sequels that you didn't know existed. Yes, I'm going to start. Like this off, one. I'm going to start off with one that many people might know existed, but there are still a few that don't. However, I mm. just feel like the world needs reminding of it. <laughs> Go on then. Greece two. Oh yeah, I know this. I know this because my wife loves it and watches it quite a lot. Well, quite a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> well, in 1978. Let me speak different. 1978, the original Grease came out, and it was a super smash hit, and became a, what? a super smash hit. <laughs> you need to be careful there, mate. It became... Super smash hit. <laughs> That's what you just said. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it became a cult phenomenon for years, and still is. Uh, by the time I had got to secondary school, it was still really popular. All the girls always wanted to watch it on the last day of term. So they decided in 1982 so. to bring out a sequel, imaginatively titled Grease 2. And it starred Michelle Fafa Pfeiffer and Maxwell Caulfield, who incidentally went on to be in Emmerdale Farm, which is just wow these days. Um, and it was a relative flop. Uh, the budget was 11.2 million and it made 15.2 million at the box office. Incidentally, this is the only one on the list that actually got a theatrical release. The rest of them were straight to straight the DVD. Well, the thing is, you see, I think that this one has become one of them films that's become more famous after, you know, like years after. You think it's become think more of a cult thing? Cult thing, yeah, because I think people do and are interested in the fact that if they didn't know there was one, they're going to buy it because they want to see it. Well, and I don't think people were that disappointed in it. I thought the songs were terrible. Apart from one. That means, reproduction, that means reproduction, let your hair... Yeah, I have. It's never going to be, you know, when you get to a disco, they're never going to play the greatest hits version of that one, are they? No, we're not all going to sing along, are we? It no. was basically the same story rehashed, but this time they switched the lead roles around. So, whereas it was a male chasing the female, do you know what I mean? The male T-bird, do you know what I mean? Sandy's cousin came along in Greece too. And he, T-bird, the T-bird and the pink ladies. Oh, Basically, right, yeah, the just... Sandy character became a man and it was Sandy's cousin um, who then ended up kissing the leader of the Pink Ladies, Michelle Pfeiffer, who also happened to be going out with the leader of the T-Birds or something like that anyway. A lot like the first one. Anyway, would you like to see a clip of it? Well, I'd like to, but we're not gonna, I'm not going to see it now, am I? By the way, uh, my name's Michael Carrington. Well, I'm a Google bro. <laughs> well, lad, this is going to lack of Shakespeare. <laughs> Being invaded by firing. You OK? Yeah, fine, thanks. <laughs> Don't let these guys bug you. <laughs> I won't. Don't worry. Uh... Right, next on the list, Greg. Do you remember Christmas Vacation? Classic 80s comedy film. I loved all them series, though. But did you love this one? Christmas... Yeah, of course you did. Yeah, Christmas you did, Vacation 2. Eh? Yes, that's right. 
uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation to Cousin Eddie's Island. So he's not in it then? No, it's Cousin Eddie, uh, played by, who was he played by? Randy Quaid um, and his family. And it looks terrible. Straight to TV. It was made for TV for the ABC network, released in 2003. Um, why, why do they take something so big and so amazing? And only put it on TV. I don't understand the logic in that. Well, let me just read you the first part of the plot and see what you think. The story begins with Cousin Eddie at his latest workplace, a nuclear facility, where he works alongside a monkey. When the monkey outperforms him in every test, the decision is made to fire him. Upon finding out the news, the two get into an argument which results in the monkey biting him. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a classic, that is. It wasn't received very well. Um, it was released on DVD. Um, and the cast ended up hating it. The cast did? <laughs> yeah. Everybody hated it. I've never seen it. I'm not going to be watching it. However... I will I'm going to watch it this Christmas. I will show the people at home a clip of it because they may not have seen it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, 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 nice. oh, yeah, this is all right. Merry Christmas. Right, Greg. Here's the next absolute classic sequel that you didn't know existed. You ready for this? But one? I knew all these existed, Jason, because we've spoke about it before. Oh, yeah. I don't think you've seen the original of this one. But Go the on, second then. one is called Lost Boys, The Tribe. I'm sorry, I just haven't seen the first one. Well, they did a second one? Yeah. Starring Corey Feldman and no one else in the original one. Um, he reprises his role as one of the Frog Brothers, and he's still a vampire hunter. Um, basically, it's rubbish. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, yeah, but you're a big Lost Boys fan, aren't you? So, have you seen yeah, this one? Yeah, but I already knew that this was rubbish, and I haven't watched it. It was re released in July 29th, 2008. Has a really poor rating on uh, online. However. It was released on the Warner Brothers Premier label and is one of their best-selling DVDs to date. It sold 1,250,000 copies for its direct-to-DVD release. Yeah, but that's clever. That's, it's actually quite clever because if you think, let's just say they did a Goonies 2 straight to like telly or video or whatever. Oh, yeah. It would, it would be the biggest selling. Even just, to, it, it, you know, just interest people would want to see, wouldn't they? Absolutely. The initial sales are because people are have a nostalgia for the original one, don't they? So there you but go. But then it just goes straight in the bin after. Yeah. Um, would you like to see a clip of this? I mean... Not really. I wouldn't either, but I'm going to put one in anyway. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a good way to give yourself steak, Sam. Easy there, compadre. I think you can at least cheer me out. I mean, I feel like you owe me that. You really expect me to act like nothing ever happened? No, I've already forgiven you. It's water under the bridge. Stay there. You don't want it to go down like this. Oh, it's going down like this. You, uh, Can't do it anymore. You nipped out for a haircut. You're joking, aren't you? Look at this, Jason. Looks amazing. Hey, Very 80s. That's why I'm doing it. It's a bit Lamar look, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more Jason Donovan. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. That's quite a compliment, that is. Anyway, anyway, Greg, anyway, mm. anyway, uh, next sequel yeah. you didn't know existed. Do you yeah. remember the mm. 1989 classic Patrick Swayze film, Roadhouse? Yes. Good film. Uh, Patrick Swayze at his, in his prime, martial artist. It was good. I liked it. Um, I don't know why that made me laugh. You say martial artist. Why? It just <laughs> makes me laugh. Martial artist. <laughs> um, did you know, Greg, that they decided to capitalise on the popularity of that film 
but not until 2006. Oh, quite a way after then. When they made the uh, straight to DVD movie Roadhouse 2. So, what was Patrick Swayze still alive then? Uh, no, he wasn't. Oh, but, I don't know actually. Don't know what year he died, but uh, he wasn't in this. Um, the cast were the biggest name in the cast was Jake Boosie. And you know it's going to be a class film if he's in it, don't you? Who's Jake Boosie? Gary Boosie's brother. Who's Gary Boosie? Cousin or something. Oh, never mind, Greg. Um, basically, it has no. The only relation it has to the original film is it's about a bouncer. Um, what the, the neighbor's dog? Like, yes. They made a film about neighbors' his dog. No, Greg. Bouncer as in doorman. Oh. And uh, this one too was terrible. One two. One two. Two. Yes. Um, oh, I thought you were checking the microphone. Scott Weinberg of DVD Talk rated it two and a half out of five stars and called it predictably mindless and a silly mess. Um, Cam Lindsay of, Excl of Exclaim wrote, it was better to ignore this sequel and simply rewatch the original instead. Two and a half, not bad though, is it? Well, I'll let you judge for yourself. Here's a little clip. Thanks, mate. Jane Tanners in the business of fighting back. But when family business becomes deadly, his only job is revenge. How many more people are going to die because you want to do the right thing? And finally, Greg, we come to probably the best of the worst on the list. Is this, is this the one I sent you? Yes. This? I, I mean, oh. Well, in, in the last video we did about sequels you didn't know existed, we talked about uh, Home Alone 4, was it? Bone Alone? No, Home Alone 4 is one, and then they did Bone Alone. All right. Well, this one is Home Alone, The Holiday Heist. Otherwise, titled Brackets. Home Alone oh, 5. Five. I, I, uh, know, I did a bit of looking at this, Jason. Huh? I didn't do any, any research. I just wanted to see what it was about. And uh, it's another one straight to television, isn't it? Yes. Uh, it, was but, made, it was made by a ABC again. Uh, was released on November the 25th, 2012. And it's taken us this long to find out about it. The, the problem starts with the cover that they would have used for the DVD or whatever, or the poster. Yeah. It's, it's horrendously tragic what they've done with that. What, the boy slapping his cheeks? You know Home Alone 3, the other lad took over. I didn't watch that one. I've only really watched one and two. That's not a bad one. Home Alone 3 isn't bad. It's the, the other lad, I can't remember his name, he took over. And the cover of it is him not doing that. It's him just standing in the front like that with all his tools and gear on. Brilliant. What they've done with this one, probably the same they did before, is an old lad, 12 years old, which is older considering the first two, doing that. Well, apparently it's full of references to the original two films as well. Like I think he goes down the stairs on a sledge at one point, from what I can see from the clips and other things like that. They've, the premise, it, their, their family have moved, haven't they? It's, it's, it's a haunted house or something. The premise is they've moved into this new house, and there is talk of a haunting and a ghost, but basically the parents go to... Basically! basically the parents go to a Christmas party and the two kids are grounded at home. Um, one of the kid nips out to get something. Here's the burglars talking about burglarising his house. So he goes back and sets up lots of booby traps. It starts snowing really badly, so his parents get stuck at the party. Um, and you basically go through what happened in the first film with lots of... They, They're trying to steal they a want, painting. That's it. They want, to, they want to steal a painting that the, that family didn't know that was left in that house that's worth yeah. a fortune. Yeah. Um, it's just... I mean, the, I, I watched the trailer of it. I didn't watch any more than that. And I, why don't they just let things go? If they're not going to let it go, do what they did for... Did, was it an advert when Macaulay Culkin actually came back and did the... Yeah, I think it was a YouTube thing, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. Make him the dad or something and bring him in it somehow. You, you, you can't do. Three was all right, then it went to pot. It's always after three, isn't it? Superman, three. Four. Batman. Oh, Batman. They're all rubbish apart from the first one. First two are good. The, one, yes. the first one's the only one with Michael Keaton in it, isn't it? 
No, we did the second one. Oh, did he? Well, then, yeah, that one's with, all right. Well. With the penguin, Jason. Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, no, that's that's one. Anyway, that is Home Alone 5, and here is a little clip. <clears throat> Whilst I've been in isolation, I've been thinking a lot, and I really feel like I've been wasting this time, you know, this time that we've been given as a gift uh, by this disease, COVID-19. Um, Can you shut up, please? Right. Sorry, they're, I mean, they're playing. Right, okay, here we go. It's about not wasting any more time. Okay. Now... I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. I'm hanging on the promises and songs of yesterday, and I've made up my mind. I ain't wasting no more time. Though I keep searching for an answer, never seem to find what I'm looking for. Oh Lord. I pray you give me the strength to carry on because I know what it means to walk along this lonely street of dreams. That's it. That was the, it's a tough one to take in today, that was Jason. I know, it's funny times, isn't it, Greg? We're all feeling a bit emotional. We're all, uh, you know, on the edge of our emotions, staring back in. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Special. Thanks. Right, Greg. <coughs> That's the end of the show. It's it's weird, isn't it, this? I just yeah. realised this. I, I, you know, it's great that we're doing it, but it's really hard. And I think that we're probably getting away with it not being very good because we're doing it like this. The problem is when we get back to the studio, we we've got no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, we've had a couple of pictures from people, lockdown pictures, which are great. Uh, I'd like a couple more and then I'm going to print them out and do a little gallery uh, in one of the next episodes. So cool. if anybody wants to send us their lockdown pictures, Greg, you haven't got the board, but where do they need to send their pictures to? You have got the board! Send yes, them to tnt at totgoo.com. That's tnt at tnt.com. It doesn't have to be in capitals. Are you that side? I don't know. Right, I'll do both then. Ow! 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 Anyway, thanks for I've that. I've got it! Well done, mate. I did some social distancing, distancing dis I went to get it and I kept away from everyone. All right, well done, mate. Um, so, yeah, that's another episode, another lockdown episode in the bag. Episode? Officer, officer. Episode. An episode. This episode a great. I'll let you into a little secret. I've got a tiny little ulcer on the tip of my tongue and it's making me speak funny. Is that your excuse, is it? Yes, it is, yeah. Anyway, take care, Greg. <sighs> take care, everybody. What are we doing next, Jason? Um, I think the next episode we're doing is we our, friend, our friend Dino, who's putting together a little 80s quiz for us. Although there probably aren't any questions left because everyone on Facebook is doing their own quiz, aren't they, at the moment? Yeah, but, you know, we'll, we'll, he'll make them hard, oh. <laughs> uh, the questions. It's, so. a quiz, uh, it's a Greg versus Jason type quiz, quick quiz with Dino as the host. Um, so we'll be putting that together soon. Um, hopefully you can play along with us. Uh, and I'm going to win. That's that's if we can fit it in. Oh, I mean, I, I, it's been tough trying to get this together today, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you were on your exercise bike. And I was, yeah. I was making uh, a tea. Well, now I've got to... Um, uh, I've I've got a um. What about you? Yeah, yeah, I've got loads of stuff to do this afternoon. So on on that note, 
Um, we'll see you again next time on Tea and Toast. Stay safe. Take care. And if you can't be good, be careful. That's a great ending there, and you just interrupted me. Because I was doing the problem. If you can't be good, be careful. I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? Actually, he did that, didn't he, Rick Mayo? That's his saying. I don't know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.